Hey, it's Uncle from TacticalGamer.com. Had a question from some of the uh, TG mission makers about putting players on boats. A question that I actually just wrestled with in uh, my most recent mission, uh, the one, my latest one, uh, VIP Rescue, which I did another video on for the patrol um, portion of this mission where you get detected by enemy units. Anyway, this one's about um, how you get the players onto the boats. Um, obviously, let's see if I create another unit here. Um, actually, the easiest way to demonstrate the problem with this is you could just put the units in the boat. Um, so if I were to go to, let's see, boats. User joined your channel. Good morning. Say good morning to YouTube, uh, Scout. Good morning, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so when Scout uh, jumped in channel, decided to do voiceover on this, basically what was happening is if I placed the players directly into the boats, um, that works fine for the players that joined uh, right when the mission started. And I don't know why if this is different for land vehicles or not. But what happened was, some players would come in, if the boats had been moved, then when they spawned in, they came in and were just swimming in the water out where the boat was initially placed. All right, so they ended up floating around in the water. So this is the reason why I have this whole workaround in the first place. So you can see the boats are far out in the water in the editor. I've named them boat one, two, and three. There's three four-man fire teams in this mission. I named each one of them in the editor. Uh, so each fire team has their own boat. <clears throat> in each unit of each player, I've added this line, okay, and basically the way it works is this refers to the name of the unit in the editor, so that in this case SL for squad leader. Then it says set variable. I've created a variable on this unit, on this object, that is uh, which boat. Okay, which is in which case this one would be boat one. When I get into my scripts, here's how the scripts work. <clears throat> Starting off with the uh, init server.sqf, uh, which only runs on the server, I've created a variable just to track what time it is for everybody uh, into the mission. So uh, move players in the boats equals true, um, and then I public variable that. All right, so move players to boats, or players to boats, I think it was. Okay, after two minutes, players to boats equals false instead of true. Okay, and that's all controlled by one machine the server controls all of the timing and we just use public variable and network traffic to deal with the rest of it. In my init player local, the other half of this is quite simple. All this stuff has to do with the mission, not relevant to moving the players in the boats. Okay, but it sleeps for 10 seconds and then if player to boats is equal to true, then it moves that player into the boat that was saved by the variable which boat. That look variable, remember, is local to the object of that player. Okay, <clears throat> then for some window dressing in the init.sqf, I basically had the screen, because you would spawn in, be on the beach for a minute, uh, it's going to blacken the screen while you're on the beach, and then when you get moved to the boat, then it's going to reveal that you're on the boat. So it's seamless for the players, they don't know they're on the beach, except for the sound. Um, if I get into the mission here and play this back, you can see that uh, as I spawn into the mission briefing screen, I am on the beach. Uh, I'm not out where the boats are, which uh, we can get to that location by going to the briefing. Um, there we go. Right here, that's where the boats are actually going to be. So you will see that when we get into the mission, that's where I actually am. All right, we get into the mission, and it's got the black screen, so I am actually on the beach. And then in a few seconds after that, then... The black screen will go away, uh, and then I will be able to turn on my night vision and see that I am now on the boat. So that's a good way of controlling it for a multiplayer version of uh, the game. If you want to get your players on the boats, this is Uncle from TacticalGamer.com. Please subscribe, uh, send comments and questions, and uh, great mission making.